Good morning. I am recording this introduction after I recorded the main video in order to talk for a moment about why I switched decks for this video. Essentially, the reason is because I stalled out at rank 97 or 98 and just couldn't get over the hump with the Spectrum ongoing deck. I tried for probably 6 or 7 or 8 hours and I would drop to 97, go back up to 98, over and over, I'd face the same opponents over and over, and eventually I started to fall back down to 97, then 96, then 95, and at that point I decided, well, maybe this just isn't going to happen with the Spectrum ongoing deck, and I switched to the Dino deck immediately climbed back up to 98 and then I turned on the video and you will see the result in just a moment. And I think the reason that the Spectrum ongoing deck stalled out is because in the MMR and collection level I was at, the pool of players was very limited so I would face the same players over and over and over. And Spectrum ongoing just isn't very good when you face the same players over and over and over and your opponents know exactly what's coming because they can play around it. And I think this deck is more prone to that than the Dino deck, which wins more through overwhelming the overwhelming power of the Dino. So I was able to do things with the Dino deck that I just couldn't do with the Spectrum ongoing deck, at least not in the late 90s ranks. So if you were hoping to see the Spectrum ongoing deck reach infinite, my apologies. I just could not make that happen, but hopefully you will enjoy the video anyway, and thank you for watching. Good evening. We're back with more Marvel Snap. Beginning the evening at rank 98 and 5 cubes, I gained 3 cubes off video from the end of my last video. Also upgraded my collection a bit, and I am going to be playing a different deck today. It's a pretty standard dino deck. It is a deck I saw on Snap Fan, and I like it a lot. I like the look of it a lot. And I'm going to try it out, see how it goes. Got a little tired of the ongoing deck. It was very strong, bringing me all the way up to 98 from about 56, I think. I think it's good enough to go to infinite, but it's a grind for sure. And I think this deck I'm playing is probably a little better. Okay, definitely want to play to the raft. Can I take advantage of that two mana? I don't think so. Well, I can play white queen. Surprised my opponent didn't play both of those to the raft. So my opponent has Iron Man. So I got a free Magneto. I think I just play Vision here. That gives me options for next round. I know my opponent can beat me at the raft. So 
Not gonna waste any time with it. Iron Man. Magneto draws three and four cost stuff. So I can draw Punisher away. That'll remove 12 power. 12 power removed will be will be down to 18. So he could play Spectrum and still win that location. Let's go Magneto to Tinkerer's Workshop. And something like Nova, Spectrum Killmonger. Good. Winning the raft is OP. Got Moon Girl Dino. Could be pretty good. We'll see how this goes. I like to play Killmonger right away. Take out the sunspot before my opponent has a chance to play armor there. So what will Moon Girl actually copy here? Just the Cosmo, I think. So not actually worth it to play. Thought we're just building a lane and then use the Dino to win the other lane. And we'll take a look at what my opponent's got here. So his biggest card is Moon Girl. I will just go ahead and Shang-Chi here. See what my opponent plays. He's gonna get my dino. How many cards does he have in hand? Seven, I have seven also. So if we each play dino mid, I win on differential. If he plays dino, 
to Kunlun, I went on differential. Yep, there we go. I've played against this player quite a bit. He's playing a movement deck. Probably will play Killmonger for tempo next round. Movement deck doesn't have a lot of targets. He's not playing pool three cards that I saw, so no need to worry about Human Torch. should have played Moon Girl to Cloning Vats. I'm not sure. So first dino goes here. It's got cloak, so he can go seven plus eight would be fifteen, eighteen. 22 he'll have. So I'll win there. Now he could play Heimdall. Here he'd have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 to my 15. I think it's good. Actually, I'll have 17 since I'm adding a copy of Dino to my hand. Craven, does Craven beat me? It does. Oh, but he Doctor Strange away. Outthought himself there. Okay, well, no moon girl yet. 
Black got the dino. play Cosmo or do I want to play Sentinel? Let's play Cosmo here. Too bad I didn't reveal first. Here I think I'll just play Sentinel. Oh, it gets blocked there. Play Mr. Fantastic to cloning vets. I won't draw cards, but I don't think I have a good way to win that battle at Asgard there. But I can play Dino at Cloning Vats, and then another Dino. Should be pretty good. Let's see what he's got. He has a Dino himself. I have Shang-Chi. But that doesn't do it. I would definitely win cloning vats. But my opponent will simply play another dino and where will he play that dino? Most likely miniaturized lab since he's losing there. If he plays to Asgard, I win with this play. Let's run it. He didn't play the other dino. That's a surprise. Disappointing. Looks like I got another variant. Oh, no, it's just a... Uh, these are not variants, just booster mystery packs. Alrighty. Let's continue. I thought for sure he would play another dino and not a bunch of small cards. What if I played dino? He would have just lost. Any place I played it, he would have lost. Could that have been a clairvoyant bot? play for one Hulk here, in case I draw into Shang-Chi. Let's 
Seems my opponent's playing an ongoing deck. And Gamma Lab's got to think about this. Let's see what my opponent's got. Armor. That's his highest cost card. Interesting. I could really use a Shang-Chi draw here. Two, four, six, eight, eleven. It's decent. I know my opponent didn't have anything high cost because White Queen only stole armor. Let's run it. Got it. Barely, but got it. Victory. Back to one cube away. Can we get it? Let's see a nice moon girl dino hand. It's a nice curve, but it lacks power at the top end. Briefly considered playing to mid. I'm glad I didn't now. Master drops Captain Marvel. Let's see what my opponent has in hand. Apocalypse makes sense. I draw vision. So it's going to be fourteen power. Go Dino hmm, Where do I want the Dino? Should I just play it to Superflow? Down by 10 at Shadowland Let's just play it to Superflow
So I'll have 14 or 13 by 2, 4, 6, 8, 11, 21 to 7. 14 would make it 21. Go to differential and I'll win. Looks good. Oh, it's actually 23. Oh yeah, Mr. Fantastic. Yeah, I should have snapped on that. That was conservative. But there it is, up to rank 100. Could have had another two cubes, I think. Excellent. So, time to spend these credits and gold. Would have liked to do it with the infinite deck or with the with the ongoing deck, but the Dino is just better. So, let's go ahead and upgrade some cards. Typically I'll just upgrade indiscriminately. Let's give Vision a little upgrade. I like that card. It's very versatile. sad that was I think 474 is the last card and I'm sad cloak was my last card because I wanted to play movement before now so moving into pool three now no more upgrades for vision let's see what do I want to upgrade yeah, I'll just upgrade indiscriminately now Killmonger's gonna see play in more decks Mr. Negative is the first pool 3 card. It's a pretty good one. Definitely we'll try him out. Mm, what else do I want to upgrade? Angela, sure. <laughs> My second card is Crystal. Probably one of the worst cards in the game. 
So now it's going to be collector's caches, which only have a chance to contain a card. Would have liked to see something better from the second card. The odds of getting that particular card were not very high, but whatever. First collector's cash. Beast? It's okay. It's a bounce deck card. We'll, we'll check it out. What do we got here? Credits? Okay. Infinity. Wong. That's a good one. Though I do see a lot of Cosmo, so he'll probably get countered a lot. And here we got 100 collector's tokens. I'll have to take a look and see what's available in the shop at the moment. Can keep going with Angela. Okay. I'll probably just mostly upgrade indiscriminately. Or perhaps based on cards that I think will be seeing play in a lot of decks. Shang-Chi, he deserves an upgrade. See what we got here. Excellent. So I'd say three out of the four cards are very good, with the fourth one being trash, but that's okay. Definitely find a use for Magneto. Collector's tokens. Can upgrade Iron Man more.
that's all. Yeah, just got 160 credits now. So, probably want to buy more missions. Check out the shop for the collector's tokens. For 6,000 gold, 2,000 collector's tokens. Variants. Okay, so we got. 3,000 tokens for She-Hulk. And I have 3,200. No, I don't really want She-Hulk. Series 4 card is good. I don't imagine these are always Series 4 or 5 cards, but... Eh, uh, she's okay, but I don't think that's the card I want. So, now what deck do I want to make? Mr. Negative deck? So now that I've hit infinite as free to play, I'm going to go ahead and buy the battle pass. So that I can get the new cards and talk about them with some authority. So I'll go ahead and claim these extra rewards from the Battle Pass, which includes Silver Surfer, which I actually think is a really good card. And I'd like to try a Mr. Negative deck. Got a Strong Guy variant. Title, Cold, Avatar. Collector variant. Scarlet Witch variant. That looks pretty cool. Infinite variant. Pixelated ones I'm not super enthusiastic about. Bucky Barnes, I like that one. And a Silver Surfer variant. That's everything. Everything else is free. Go ahead and do a little more upgrading. Upgrade the Silver Surfer. Which one of these do I like? I like the original one. Adam Warlock. Eh, he's not that good. Might play him in a Mr. Negative deck, though. Okay, I've got a little bit more. Sure, can upgrade Bucky. Anything else I want to upgrade? Shang-Chi, don't have the coin for it. 
probably nothing else right now. So I want to make a Mr. Negative deck with the Silver Surfer. So after a little thought, this is what I came up with. I get to try out Wong, Mr. Negative. Did I forget the Silver Surfer? I think I did. Remove. Add the Silver Surfer. And maybe I want one more three drop. Move White Tiger. White Tiger is pretty good with Wong though. What could I remove for another three drop? So I removed Killmonger and Nova and I added in Ironheart and America Chavez just to increase the chances of drawing Mr. Negative. So this is a Wong Silver Surfer Mr. Negative. Uh, actually, no, I didn't want... Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I want one more three drop. What looks good in the threes? Anything. Punisher, maybe? Or Nakia? Nakia seems good. We'll try Nakia. That's another on reveal for Wong. So let's give this a try. Oops, didn't select the deck, did I? Oh, I did. Should probably name these. Mr. Negative Surfer. Dino. Alrighty, let's try out the Mr. Negative at rank 101 and we'll see how it goes. This is purely experimental. I don't know if it'll work, but I'm trying to figure out uh, a relatively budget Mr. Negative deck. So in this situation, we'll go Nakia has reverse synergy with Mr. Negative, but I don't have him. I'd like to get a little card draw going without a Warlock if possible. Let's see if this does anything. Shang-Chi takes out the Dino. So there's Mr. Negative. Only gonna have one turn remaining though in which to use him. So I can't play cards after turn four there. Yep, that's pretty rough. So I do 
do get to draw an extra card thanks to Adam Warlock. And it's Wong, Wolf Spain, Silver Surfer. That doesn't get me anywhere near what I need. Does it? Wolf Spain. So we go Wong first, obviously. Then Silver Surfer, then Wolf Spain. I need more power at Monster Island than I do other places. That would be three plus six is nine plus six is fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 22. I'm going to run it and see what happens. I'm just curious here. Oh, he's got Hulk. So if he didn't have Hulk, I actually would have been okay. But I only could have taken four points of pressure, so that was foolish. I threw away cubes there. I just wanted to see what would happen. But I'll, in future, I don't necessarily think this Mr. Negative deck is good, but in the future, I am going to play seriously at infinite rank with an eye on gaining ranks as much as possible. I do want to try out new cards that I get when it's possible to make a good deck with it. I don't really think I can make a good Mr. Negative deck right now. I'm missing too many pieces. I'm missing Mystique. Maybe something like Sarah. Let's go for the raft. So my opponent knows I'm playing Mr. Negative and snapped before knowing if I drew Mr. Negative. That's interesting. Oh, just because he can fill the raft. Okay, so I could go Wong, Surfer, and Ironheart later. If Wong doesn't get countered, this should be pretty good. I play Iron Man at the Raft. Do I need Iron Man at the raft, or could I get by with, uh, actually don't think I do. I'll play Iron Man at Tinker's Workshop. Oh wait, no, I didn't want to do that. No! I needed that for, well, maybe it'll be okay, we'll see. My opponent got null. That's not very good. I am Iron Man. So 
So I guess it's just Wolfsbane and then Surfer. What is the, where does that land me? I get he gives plus three, so it's three six. It'll be plus twelve. Does he buff himself now? Other cards. Then that'll be three. It'll be at six. I think that's enough. I'm not gonna snap. It seems good though. It'll debuff Lizard as well. Yeah, I think I win. I think I could have snapped there. That was conservative. Back to where I started. One more with the Mr. Negative deck. It performed pretty well there. I think it was easily counterable after I played Wong by Cosmo. It's gonna be weak to Cosmo for sure. Hopefully I don't lose a lot of cubes to Cosmo if my opponent doesn't wait to counter me. If he does it on turn six, I could be in trouble. Okay, I want to play Nakia next turn. Or is it Bishop? I think it's Bishop. Bishop needs to come out early. See what X Mansion has. Surfer for my opponent. He got plus two from that, or plus three. Vulture for me. Now, do I want to go? I think it's Ironheart here. I think it's Ironheart to Shadowland. Adam Warlock, not especially good here. But I think I play him because I don't think White Tiger is the play. White Tiger is a play with Wong or with Mr. Negative. I think the play here is Wolfsbane, Adam Warlock. And where do I want to make that play? Let's go Tinker's Workshop with it. What's better here? Probably Mr. Fantastic and Silver Surfer, but I don't think that gets me enough to win. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no. No way. I think this play was bad. I can retreat out of this. Escaped. Okay, so one more. I'm enjoying figuring out this deck. I don't think it's a good deck. Could I play a player other than Mathletics? 
This is like, what was it, four games in a row? I can draw the Silver Surfer consistently, but not Mr. Negative. Oh, there he is. With Adam Warlock. But at the moment, I don't have a way to activate him. I think Wong is the play, but I'll play the Silver Surfer. Okay, so my opponent got the 6 drop. So I got Nakia. Should I play Wong, Nakia? It's okay. Ironheart goes plus six. Don't think this is very good. Let's see. Yeah, three, six. He's got plus four. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. To thirteen. Well, it depends on where the Ironheart buffs go. If I hadn't played Nakia there, I might have had a better chance. And my opponent's probably got a Nova kill there, so... Nah, I don't think this deck is good, but it was fun to try out Mr. Negative. And next video, I will come back with a deck that I do think is good, and see what happens. So, thank you for watching.